Hi everyone, this is Dave, and in today's video, I'm going to be testing the Kingston KC400 solid state drive. Now, before I tell you a little bit more about this video, if you like what you're seeing, please do hit that like button. And if you're new to the Geek Noise channel, please do subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Now, primarily, solid state drives are designed to install internally inside a laptop like this, or indeed inside a desktop computer. I like to look for solutions for video editing on the go, so I look for external solutions. So I'm going to be installing this solid state drive inside this Inertech FE2007 enclosure. This is a USB 3 enclosure. Now it's not going to get as fast speed as if I install this internally, but it should perform very well indeed. And the nice thing about this Inertech enclosure is that it's very easy to install the solid state drive inside and once this is in we can put that cover back on and then we can attach the USB 3 cable which goes in on this side here and then we've got a little power LED come on on the side of the enclosure just here and we can turn the hard drive power on as well and we are good to go. Now for this test I'm going to be using Blackmagic Design's Disk Speed Test application. This is a free application in the Mac App Store and we shall click start and you can see here the write speed very very good 340 megabytes per second and the read speed coming out about the same at 335 megabytes per second. On the second round we are peaking at 341 megabytes per second and a very consistent read speed actually at 334 megabytes per second. So using this solid state drive inside the Inertech enclosure is a really good solution for video editing on the go. I can take this enclosure with me with the Kingston KC400 solid state drive and use this for a 4K video editing workflow or indeed 2.7K or 1080p. I really do like it. I think it is a fantastic little enclosure and also a really high performing solid state drive. Now obviously as I mentioned earlier, if you installed this internally then you would be getting around about 500 megabytes per second, possibly faster on both the read and write speeds. So that's it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed it, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in another video very soon.